Hello, it's GCSE Physics Explained. I'm going to teach you the names and symbols of electrical components used in electrical circuits and a little bit of information about what they do. A cell provides electrical energy to push electrons around a circuit and create current. Note that the large side of the cell is the positive side and the smaller side of the cell is the negative side. I teach my students that if you add something it gets bigger so the bigger side has the plus sign and if you take something away it gets smaller so the smaller side has the minus sign. The battery is a collection of cells joined together in series with the negative end of one cell connected to the positive end of the next. It provides a large amount of electrical energy to push electrons around a circuit and produces bigger currents. The switch. These are Harry Potter's glasses. You're a wizard, Harry. Only kidding. It's a closed switch and it allows an electrical current to flow. These are Harry Potter's broken glasses. Oculus repairer. Only kidding again. It's an open switch which stops electrical current from flowing. Voltmeters measure voltage, which is sometimes called potential difference. It's just a circle with a V in it. Ammeters measure current. It's just a circle with an A in it. Resistors restrict the flow of electrical current. It's just a rectangle. Variable resistors. You can change the size of the resistance so you can make the electrical current bigger or smaller. To draw the symbol, just draw a rectangle like a fixed resistor, but then put an arrow through it and an angle. A bit like a lever you could pull with an upside down V on the end. V for variable. Bulbs or lamps are designed to convert electrical energy into light energy. There's two symbols you might see. This one, which is a circle with a cross in the middle, a bit like an X-Men badge. Is the future truly set? Or this symbol, which is a circle with an ohm sign in the middle, which is relevant because bulbs have got a high resistance and heat up so much that they glow and give off light. Motors convert electrical energy into kinetic energy. The symbol is just a circle with an M in the middle. A diode allows current to only flow in the forward direction. One way of thinking about how the symbol looks is it's an arrow pointing which way the current can flow with a blocker at the front to stop the current flowing backwards. Or, as I say to my students, it's a D and an I and an O, which is the first three letters of diode. And that just goes to show that what can at first seem like one of the hardest symbols to remember, with a bit of creative thinking, you can turn it into one of the easiest symbols to remember. And that's like anything in life. A good strategy makes things easier to learn. Thermistor. Well, it's a golf club through a resistor, isn't it? Thermistors are used as heat sensors. They are resistors that change their resistance as the temperature changes. I suppose the symbols look a bit like a thermometer going through a resistor at an angle. An LDR. An LDR is a light sensor. It's a resistor that changes its resistance when the light changes. Let me tell you a little story. In the olden days, lamp hosts used to have candles in them that someone would have to light. Well, these days, it's all electronic using LDRs. The symbol for an LDR starts off by drawing a normal resistor, like a rectangle, but because it might be on the top of a lamp post, we'd better put it in a protective bubble to make it waterproof in case it rains. Now, 
here's the sun's rays shining down on it, making its resistance change. And now remembering my story turns the symbol for the LDR from one of the hardest symbols to remember to one of the easiest. And that's because the brain is quirky in the way it likes to work. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. It's just a diode that emits light when current is flowing in the forward direction and doesn't emit light when current is trying to flow backwards. This symbol is the same as a diode, but with arrows representing light coming out of it. A fuse causes a break in a circuit if an electrical appliance becomes faulty and causes too much current to flow. A fuse is a thin wire inside a small glass casing, so the symbol is quite similar looking. I hope that's been useful for you. There will be lots more 3D animations coming up in future videos. Thank you very much. Work hard and be nice. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe to my channel, GCSE Physics Explained. Bye for now.